everybody, if you are new around here, I'm Kenzie and I know we've been on a bit of a hiatus recently. I do plan on posting an update video in the future, but today I have some big news for you guys and that is that our van is for sale. We filmed a tour of this van almost two years ago. If you guys have been following us since the beginning, you know that that was actually our very first video that we ever posted. And I wanted to film another tour for you guys because there are some things that we've changed after living in it for two years. I want to show you guys some of those things that we did change, um, just kind of how we adapted to moving into the van and also show you guys around because it's on the market. So who knows, one of you might end up with it. My intention is to keep this pretty short and sweet since we do already have a detailed tour of it out. And if you are an interested buyer and you wanna see more of the specs, I will put a link to the listing in the description and you can check that out and that will also have all of our contact info so that you can get in contact with me if you'd like to see it. Let's get started, shall we? Our van is a 2010 Mercedes Sprinter 3500 with a 170 inch wheelbase. It provides a comfortable amount of interior living space while still being easily maneuverable. On the roof, we have a custom built roof rack to mount our solar panels and any other large gear that we want to bring along with us. First things first, I hope you guys will bear with me being a one man camera crew today. Uh, Joey is out of town so I'm going to be filming everything myself. I'm going to do the absolute best I can with the tools I have available, um, but just an apology if anything seems a little bit weird or like I could have had better angles, bear with me please. I also apologize for any noise that you might hear outside the van during this tour. Out of my control, I'm gonna do my best though. I'm gonna start in the kitchen. This is usually what draws people to this van. Having a big kitchen was a top priority for me because I love to cook and knowing that I was going to be cooking a lot, I didn't really wanna be struggling with really limited counter space and a tiny sink. So we kind of went all out on the kitchen. We have a two burner propane stove from Ramblewood and our propane tank is mounted underneath the van for safety purposes. Below the stove, we have a sizable fridge. This is a Dometic CRX 110 and it is 3.8 cubic feet. Not only do you have tons of space for all your food in here uh, in the refrigerator area, but it also includes a freezer. Next to that, we have a set of drawers. This provides plenty of space for you to store all of your utensils, pots, pans. You'll also notice that we have a large window in the kitchen. And I love this because it really creates kind of a homey feel, having a lot of natural light come in while I'm cooking. We also built in a little storage space right behind the kitchen counter. That is so convenient because we can put things like our dish soap in there. Um, so that you're not having to dig through a cabinet to find those things. To help separate the kitchen area from the cab of the van, we do have a wall right here. Um, this is nice so that if you're cooking, if you have anything splatter, it's not going right under your driver's seat. We also have a magnetic strip here that we would keep our knives on when we weren't driving, and a little steel plate right here which we would keep magnetic spice jars on. To reduce the hassle of washing larger dishes like pots and pans and cutting boards in a tiny RV sink, we installed a 23 inch granite composite sink. Our kitchen faucet is also from Kraus. It's an industrial style faucet and it has a pull down sprayer, which is nice for not only dishes, but I have washed my hair in here a number of times. This little faucet here is actually for drinking water. So we have a dual stage water filtration system under the sink. We always use this to cook with and to drink and it just kind of gives you peace of mind that you know you have clean water to do that. Below the sink, we have three six gallon water jugs and that is our fresh water system. It's super convenient because we can fill up almost anywhere. Uh, in cities, it makes it a lot easier to find water. And even if you're wilderness camping, for example, if you had access to a freshwater stream, you could also easily fill up your water tanks by doing that. That gives us a total of 18 gallons of fresh water that we can carry. And below the van, we have a five gallon gray water tank that does have an electric ball valve that is switch operated so that you can responsibly dump. Inside this cabinet, we also have a small safe that is mounted to the inside of the floor. That way you can store valuables like your passports, or cash, or whatever you might have while you're traveling. Good ventilation is important in any van. We have a Dometic Fantastic vent fan that has three different speeds, and we run that every single time that we cook. Uh, or even just to regulate the temperature throughout the day. To add even more storage space, we actually built a shelf over the cab, and this has been super convenient for items that you are using frequently. For privacy, we have these two curtains uh, that have a decorative fabric on this side and blackout material on this side, 
and it has a track that actually goes all the way around, uh, all the way to the other side of the door. And there are two curtains that have magnets built in so that they magnetize together and you don't have any light seeping through here. During the day, we can also easily get these curtains out of the way with these little magnetic curtain ties. They just come off like this and then you can tie it around and push it behind the driver's seat out of the way. We frequently get asked if we have a toilet and we do, but you would actually never know it because we have it hidden in this cabinet right here. To access our Nature's Head composting toilet, all you have to do is flip up this countertop, hook this little string on there, open the cabinet doors, and you have easy access to your composting toilet. Moving two people into a space of about 80 square feet was a little bit daunting for us at first. That's why we decided to build this van with a really open layout in mind. So we decided to do double benches that convert into a nearly king size bed. A huge benefit of this setup is that you can comfortably host people. We've had as many as 10 people in here for dinner before and sounds crazy, but it actually worked surprisingly well and everybody was really comfortable. One of these benches houses 300 amp hours of gel AGM batteries from Renogy, as well as a 2000 watt inverter charger from Renogy. Those batteries are charged with our 300 watts of Renogy solar panels that we have on the roof, as well as the option for alternator charging while you're driving. Besides that, the rest of this bench and the entirety of the other bench is open for storage. Because of that, we have a ton of room to store basically anything we need in these benches. Our table is on a lagoon swivel mount, so we can pull it into the middle when we have people sitting here. Love it because we can push it completely out of the way and you have all of this aisle space. So you're not trying to shimmy around a table on a pedestal. You'll also notice that we have upper cabinets running the entire length of the van, both on the driver's side and on the passenger side. These provide a lot of extra storage. We used to store an entire wardrobe in here and all of our other essentials. We get a lot of natural light in here. Sorry if there's any weird backlighting in this video, but we also have six LED puck lights on the roof. We can flip those with a little switch that's right by the entry, and those are also dimmable, which is really nice for nighttime. Off. In addition to the puck lights, we also have some accent lighting under these cabinets, which I can control right from my phone. color pink We've got blue green yellow <laughs> all the colors you can think of right above me we have an AC unit which is something that I don't see very often in van builds this is a Dometic brisk air 2 we do have to plug into shore power to use it but being from Arizona and wanting the option to visit family during warmer months this has come in major handy and it works amazing major handy is that a thing. Other notable accessories include hooks in the back of the van which are perfect for hanging up towels, a swivel mount on the passenger seat to help open up the space, 120 volt outlets and a USB charging station, as well as storage baskets that are accessible right in the entry of the van. While I probably could go into a lot more detail, I don't want to waste your guys time rambling. So I hope that was a sufficient overview for you guys. And if you do want to see some more details or get in contact with us, you can find that link down in the description. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope that one of you guys might end up with our van so that you can love it as much as we did. I'll see you in the next one.